The idea for the story came a long time ago. Actually, you know, I can pinpoint it to a particular morning in 1987 when there was, the night before there'd been a huge storm. Um, some, some said it was a hurricane and others said it wasn't a hurricane because hurricanes are tropical storms and we don't live in tropical climates so, so it was just a big storm but we always, we talked about it in years, years that followed as, as the big hurricane of 1987 and I just remember hearing the storm that night going back to sleep and then waking up in the morning and the landscape had changed and I went out into my garden and I found in, in, in my parents back garden things there that, that had been blown from elsewhere. There was washing, other people's washing had been blown off their lines and they ended up in my garden and, and a, a plant, a shrub, had been blown from somebody else's garden. And it was just uh, debris scattered around. And, uh, and it was then that I saw something in my fish pond which made me jump and, and I, thought, I thought there was a little person, a little figure floating in my pond, which then of course on closer inspection, turned out to be a Barbie doll that my sister had left on the lawn the night before and had blown into the pond. But that was that was the spark of, of the idea. And I thought, what if it what if it hadn't been a doll, and what if it had been a creature blown from miles away from wherever it lived and ended up in my in my fish pond on the night of this storm? And that was it. That's all I had for years and years. And and I, I was fascinated by this idea of uh, of something a creature that, that science knew nothing about, that had ended up in a, in a, in a suburban back garden and, and this boy finds it and he's the only one that knows about it. And so, yeah, for years I didn't know what to do with the story and I just mulled it over and, it, um, yeah, I mean, almost 25 years it took me to, not 25 years of solid thinking about the story, but, but just sort of having it in my head and, and thinking about what could happen. And, and yes, I sort of slowly came up with this idea of this adventure that this boy, the, um, the main character called Asa Brown, he goes off to try and find out what this creature is, was, where it came from, does anybody else know about them, and, uh, and are there any more still, still surviving? And so yes, that's, that's it. It's a very simple uh, premise for a story, but, um, but hopefully, you know, a nice little adventure.